Hi millionaires, it's your girl star Erica and no we're not talking about credit or business today. I mean we might, but um, today we're going to install a wig and we're going to get our life together. We are going to just kind of like reset and realize that sometimes being independent is like top tier and then other times self care is a little bit more important. But we're going to do that and we're going to chat so like let's get ready with me, duh. <laughs> first things first, um, make sure if you are not already, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff and make sure you have that notification bell on so that you are notified when I post a new video and make sure when you get notified you actually go watch and comment on it. If you're not already, follow me on all platforms, Star Erica, Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook. That's where I really am, Facebook. But um, I am Star Erica on all platforms, also The Millionaire Table on all platforms and Suddenly Still Podcast on all platforms. Make sure that you guys are tuning in every Tuesday to Suddenly Still Podcast at 6 p.m. EST. And now, hey, let's get into the wig and stuff. So the first thing I did was prep the wig. I used bio silk because it is very, very, um, it makes the wig very silky. It does help with frizz, especially when you're flat ironing. And also outside of that, um, it is not greasy. Also, I use the EAP heat um, frizz spray as well. Those make the hair very, very soft. Now I have added in the Garnier Fructus anti-frizz um, serum however these are my holy grail now I'm going to be in and out because I do like to chat on the phone when I'm doing my hair so just stay with me stay with me so this color I have been okay right now is giving uh, it was okay this was like a body wave type of wig and honestly like it's starting to wave back up so i'm a little pissed off at how i did the back but um i kind of like did a preliminary like straighten it so i like to straighten it on a um on a mannequin first oh let me turn my other light on wow okay come on other side <laughs> but i like to straighten it on a mannequin first and then we get into like straightening on our heads so i always say straighten it on a mannequin if you can secure it with some tea here we go. Some tea pins. Mm. Okay. There we are. <clears throat> Secure it with some tea pins and then um, straighten it there. And then once you get on your head, you can straighten it after that. So I'm going to first cut this bottom piece off. We don't we don't need that back there. We don't need that bottom lace. We're gonna cut that off. And I will um leave a link to this. To, I will leave a link to this wig in my description box because for one, this is an Amazon wig that we're installing. And this Amazon wig is a little fire. It kind of mimics the wigs that I normally wear. It has the color that I wear. Um, I got tired of like custom dyeing my wigs or getting them custom dyed and stuff like that. And this is kind of like the color that I've stuck with. Now I do like this medium red brown look, but honestly like this is the color that I stuck with. So... We're gonna put the wig on. Before we try to put glue on, we gotta make sure that the wig fit on right. Now I did kind of like overpluck right there in the middle, but who cares, it's my hair. And um, if it look bad enough, I'll fix it. But sometimes it just don't look bad enough to be fixed, to be honest. Okay, it's giving, mm -hmm. it's giving what it needs to give. Now what I hate that I did, well, we shall see. I did overpluck a little bit right here. But we're going to see how we're going to fix that. For now, we're not going to stress it. We're not going to stress what we cannot change. Right now, we can only move on. I also overplucked a little on the sides in certain areas. I call myself trying to... I don't know what I call myself trying to do. But I done bought it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm pissed. I don't think this going to be... I don't think this going to work. This is why I hate... Mm. Anyways, y'all, it's already plucked on that side. It's a little over plucked on this side. So what we're going to do is after we install this wig, I'm going to pull it up some just to kind of cut some of this off. And then I will repluck after that. So first things first, you want to cut the sides off. Do not try to install this wig with the sides on. It's just going to make your life way more difficult. Um, so we're going to cut, we're going to cut the sides off. Make sure that your scissors are curved towards your ear so that you're not like poking the wrong spot. 
after you get it where you want it, you still may have to adjust it here and there, but don't worry about it. Make sure that you go from ear to ear and make sure that the hairline fits your entire head. Make sure that it's kind of like equal if you can, and then pull out your sideburns and then cut behind your sideburns. That is how you get a seamless, flawless meltdown. I feel like that is very important and people don't stress the importance. Okay, so y'all see how this goes behind my ear now? It goes behind my ear. It's comfortable. I like to make sure I cut all the way. And then once it's behind my ear and it's not pressing my ear out, don't go this far. It needs to rest on top of the ear. You see my ear tabs are here and there is some skin right here. That's when you know it's cut perfect. All right, let's do the other side and I'll be right back. Now that both sides are cut off, we're not going to worry about what the middle part is because I have adjusted it and I'm actually loving the fact that that's not the middle because that is overplugged, but this is not. So right here, I'm pretty much explaining how I incorporated my deep cowlicks there and I didn't realize that. So when I put my wig on originally, it was not in the correct place, but now it is. That's all I'm saying. So I kind of knew it wasn't on point where it needed to be, but... We're going to make sure. So what I like to do, normally I take a pen and I put a dot where the wig is at. That honestly helps the most. Um, let's see what I got up here. Put the wig where you want it to lay. So I have the comb in the back and all that good stuff. Um, let me secure the wig because it's definitely going to be sliding off if I do not. We just want to make sure that you it's, it's down to your ear. It's down to your ear. You don't want to show your hair back there and all that. Um, you want to make sure that it's lined up with your hairline. Don't worry about where your original part was at. And then I like to spray some of this. Uh, it's really just tropical something from the main choice. I really just like the way it smells, to be honest. And I don't really like putting water on my hair. I like to brush it back just so I can kind of really see and baby that hairline given just wait till it get together just wait that little overpluck is not gonna matter in a minute it really ain't and I'm gonna show y'all how to fix that but uh all your hair gotta go back including that little flap sometimes the flap like to be in the way so what I like to do is spray push it back and I will have a short on how I plug this wig because honestly, I was just doing some junk. I really wasn't doing it how I normally do it. But anyways, y'all, I like to put a dot in the middle. So right here, all the way down to my scalp. Not up here, guys. Not where your lace is. Down here where you're going to cut it off at. Remember. Boom. And boom. Make sure... You're not putting it on the edge. Make sure you're not putting it on the edge, y'all. Please. Am I? Okay. Battery has been swapped out. So y'all see the dots, right? Look. Boom. 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 So I like to pull my wig back. Try to hold it in place. And then I put... So we're gonna use some Erica J. This is honestly my favorite part because I know my wig about to go in and I'm gonna be cute. It's just nothing more like exciting than knowing my hair about to be done. Um, but let's just chat while we get this on. So I'm literally just gonna I'm gonna put. I normally I'm gonna do three layers this time. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do three layers because I am um, working out and stuff. You want to like spread them in. You tr want to try not to lift your edges up like the edge of your um, ball cap. You don't want to do that. And also, I'm right on top of the cap and a little bit on my skin. I know a lot of people try to tell you, oh, don't put it on your skin. Um, you need It's going to be a little on your skin. The, what's protecting your edges is the ball cap. Yes, I do glue my ball cap on. And if you guys want a video tutorial for how I do my ball cap literally just put it in the comments no I'm not a stylist anymore but before I was ever a credit specialist or known as such 
before the millionaire table and all of that i had the encore if you're somebody that's been following me for a very long time and know my journey um i did start as a hairstylist before i became anything else i've been doing hair since i was nine years old um i actually had the encore since 2016 and it's tatted baby <laughs> I'm just me like I want to show up as me I want to show up in my um like I'll be showing up in my my dirty white a6 that I work out in and I love the dirtier the better I, my husband know I hate when my a6 are clean like after I would literally throw them things I think I paid like $60 for them a6 because I needed some really good running shoes and honestly y'all the rich people love a6 I ain't gonna hold you and um with that, like ASIC, my ASICs are my favorite shoes. I literally like putting them on in the morning when I'm taking my daughter to school and when I'm riding my bike and when I'm running and whatever. And if I have them on throughout the day, I am not ashamed of my ASICs. Like, I just can't believe, like, as a kid, um, you know, I used to feel. So this is when I realized that I was rambling and I decided to just do a voiceover. So I lined up the dots, pretty much connected the dots that I placed and this made it easy to place the lace back where I lined it up at. And then I used the teeth of the comb to press the lace into the glue. You need to press the lace into the glue, making sure that you're starting from the middle and then work in sections. Like I start in the middle, press it in there, and then I kind of go on each side and press it in there. I make sure I go back a little bit because remember, um, the the width of you know the, remember the depth of the of the glue it's not just on the edge of the hairline that's why I have my fingers there it's like a little further back as well so you want to make sure that you're pressing everything all the way like you know not just the edges but all the way back where you got the glue at and I go I pull out my sideburns and I press behind them I try to make sure that I'm pressing to where and I kind of comb it as you can see in like a combing direction as well so that the hairs is not being attached to the lace um and not being glued down to the lace I pull the hair back and then I use a blow dryer to kind of like seal and cure the glue um yeah I noticed that the fan was moving and I'm like I just know this dang blow dryer is not um strong enough to be moving the freaking fan but it was um so as you can see I'm just blow drying it I'm blow drying it until I kind of feel that it is you know like tacked like it feels like the the wig is on there so I start in the middle I use these manicure scissors and then I kind of cut now I try to cut as close to the um glue line as possible um because I don't like any extra glue but sometimes like I don't have enough glue like to the edge. So you just want to make sure you lift it back and make sure that you don't see your hair. Because once you see your hair, then you're not and you cut it off, you can't really go back in and put it there. So you can but you can always go back and add glue. You get what I'm saying? So when you lift it up, kind of lift it up, make sure you don't see your black hairs there and then cut it back as close as you can get to your hairline. And then if it's, if it needs some, some space, if it's some spots that need glue, you just go and you add the glue. Cause like I said, you cannot go, you don't want to have to take your whole wig off because you have like a little bit of lace and your baby, your edges are showing your natural edges that kind of defeats the point of having the lace and it will look ugly. Also, I don't just do a straight cut across. I kind of like, I'm like zigzagging and like, cutting at it per se and I'm pulling it up a little bit as you can see like I'm putting I was putting a little tension on the on that lace while I was pulling it up so that I can see where the glue stops because of course if I don't put any tension I won't see where the glue stops so as you can see it is very white very ashy I went and took some alcohol and took those three dots off and as y'all can see there was it was real easy it was real easy um I made sure that my side tabs were down because those are honestly the ones that like you know it, it just they're just difficult they take a while to like really flatten it and of course I'm on the phone with my friend um I love talking on the phone when I'm doing my hair this is why this was going to be a voiceover anyway because clearly I'm talking on the phone now, when it comes down to shaving out baby hairs or shaving out your sideburns, I always try to, um, like, I use a razor. I never use scissors unless I really don't have a razor. But I use an eyebrow razor, and I, I trim off um, to, like, one inch. I don't do shorter than that because I can always cut more off later. I can never get more hair back on there. Um, this true, um, this Ruby Kiss is a... Uh, concealer palette it was cool and y'all gonna see what I mean like when I start I always start on the edge like around the sideburns just because like if I don't like how it looks I don't want to be dead smack in the middle and then I gotta go back and fix it this was a little too light for me and I noticed that it's always a little too light for me you're going to see later on that I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the I think it's black radiance um contour 
palette it's like it's really good with your complexion like it really matches way better i only i use the medium dark which i again y'all will see and it is in the description below um i use just that for my lace as you can see it melted it in but it kind of like had that light that light haze like and some people have that a light haze around their hairline it all depends on how the light hits as you can see this side has way more light so you can kind of see it a little bit better it's blended way more than it was but yeah we're gonna do a bust down middle part um right here um because also when i'm looking in my mirror in my beauty room i can't really see that well i don't have on my glasses so yeah i didn't really realize how light it was but i'm gonna go do my makeup i'm gonna get cute and then y'all gonna see how it looks after i go back and add that other color on the edges now granted i hate that i added this color first because putting another color on top of a color it doesn't always give you like the full effect that you want but this came out really really cute don't mind my part because i am going to straighten it up and what i do because i don't think i recorded it i go down with um a like a brush after i use the rat tail comb to kind of part out the hairs if i need to um if i need to like pluck some out i will pluck some out but i go down with a lighter concealer in this video i don't think i recorded it. i actually have some lost footage which i don't know where the footage is and i've been recorded this so now i don't know how to retrieve that footage however um i put the concealer along the part so i do the concealer part first and then i take the tip end of that rat tail comb and i lay it there and then i spray um some this the, some spray hair color spray that matches my wig color so i i actually use like a medium red brown or a medium red something because it kind of th this this color is hard to find you can't really find like chocolate brown hair color so i will leave um the color that i use to spray with i will leave that in the description box as well because i yeah now i use erica j fluff stuff i've had this for years honestly i've had the same one for like two three years it is really really good it is very very tacky um i just kind of like tapped it on my edges instead of like because so, i'm not doing baby hair so I don't, it's nothing to swoop it's nothing to lay down i'm just trying to like melt the lace so i'm going you're going to see me pat it in and then i'm gonna wrap my hair with um i'm gonna wrap my hairline with a lace wrap and then i'm going to blow dry it and that's gonna give you that melt effect um again like i am a hairstylist uh, ex-hairstylist in a sense like i don't do hair anymore however i was doing hair for literally like a good i don't know a good 10 years like a good eight eight to ten years before i like let it go i was doing it since middle school but anyways y'all let's get into it let's get into it okay y'all i am back i did my makeup and that video will be uploaded probably next week if it has not already been uploaded once it is uploaded it will be in the description box but grand reveal of the lace so i have not taken this off i really went to do my makeup and then take it off Oof, baby it's giving melted you hear me like hold up it's giving melted and i, I ain't gonna lie I don't like my lace to be real, real dark, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and brush just for my lace. I always start to the side just in case I don't like it. I always like to start right, and I don't go up in here because you, your scalp is a little lighter than your edge, so I don't go up in there. I just start right on the edge and blend it in. Uh, with doing my makeup, I haven't, I didn't go all the way up there, so I will do that after. But I try my best not to get by my lace. Especially not with my makeup because I use Maybelline Super Stay. And that Super Stay be Super Staying. And I don't like that. Look at the difference, y'all. Hold up. That side, I got up to here. Versus this side. It ain't there yet. So I'm just going back over um, what I already did. Adding some more makeup. And I'm not going to lie, this is the best way to blend your lace. I know some people use um, their own foundation. Uh, and I used to be that person. But honestly, like once I learned this way, it has been 10 times better. I know um, Ruby Kisses, that's what this is, the Ruby Kisses palette. I use this first, but honestly, this has been my favorite true complexion. This is medium to dark. And this has been my true complexion, the dark one, <laughs> the contour color. So I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I'm gonna get this. Um I, I I don't know if I'm gonna get this again because I haven't really been liking it. Cause I haven't like like I haven't really liked how the shades have been on me. 
but I've been seeing them on other people, so I just haven't gotten my shade. This is a three D this is a three D contour um artist, so this is a contour palette. I'm going to actually try to get like the Ruby Kisses um foundation. But anyways, y'all, let's get into it. So I have not used um no setting. I mean, I haven't used no no spray no nothing i don't have no baby edges i don't want to do no baby edges um now that i have gotten good at not doing baby edges i don't want to do them like if i don't have to like if the lace is balmy or too thick then i do them but y'all that last lace i just had on recently was too thick and it wasn't giving what this is giving this is a nice amazon wig okay like the lace is perfect the lace is amazing um and i will be ordering again duh so I kind of take the hot comb and I go through and flatten first and then I comb. I don't just comb. I flatten first. Then I comb. Um, I do like that push back look, you know, like. And baby, I ain't fix nothing from the, uh, remember I showed up it was kind of over plucked. I knew what I was doing when I was plucking and I just knew that must have just not been the middle when it, and it wasn't because there was no way I plucked the middle like that. Also, I like it to be real thin because I like to push it back. Like you see how this is like pushed back like scalp. Um, you, also, you don't want your like lace from it on the edge and then like coming right from the edge. You need to push back a little bit. So like when I put on um, the setting spray. Um, I meant the set. Yeah, the, the foam. When I do the foam, I make sure. It's pushed back. So again, I do apologize because the rest of my footage is lost. I do not know where it happened to it. It doesn't show the grand finale. It doesn't show like when I went and sprayed the part. So after I put that concealer on there, I did not like it. I went and opted in to get my lighter concealer. And that's what I ended up putting on the part. Um, I went back and I sprayed it again with the with some color spray that matched my wig it was like medium brown or reddish brown or something of that sort and that's all that i really did i do apologize for that but everything that i use is in the description box make sure that you tap in and get look at the links in the description box and make sure you get the items that i'm using if you like this look or if you like more of these type of looks or me doing my hair me doing my makeup get ready with me's vlogs or just talking um just let me know what you guys want in the comments um i know that the suddenly still podcast is coming to an end very soon so i would highly advise that you go ahead and catch up from episode one all the way through where it is right now um make sure that you catch suddenly still podcast every tuesday at 6 p.m est new video launches every tuesday at 6 p.m est on youtube on pandora spotify apple um amazon which is i guess audible everywhere that every major platform that holds a podcast suddenly still podcasts on there so yeah guys make sure that you just support the podcast listen and get what you came to get from it um as you can see right here i did not like that color on my part it was too too dark so yeah i was just trying stuff at this point but again make sure y'all are like make sure you like comment subscribe if you're not following already, make sure that you follow and make sure that you click that notification bell so that you are notified every time that I post a video and make sure that you actually watch when I post a video, like make sure that you actually go watch it when you're notified. But um, yeah, I'm going to go back, spray this part. And yeah, it turned out really, really cute. I have some pictures on my Instagram at underscore star Erica. Make sure you're following me on all platforms at underscore star Erica. Thank you so much for watching millionaires. Have a great one. Up now, on a new way, so yeah, start now. They up now, they done slept the longest time to show them. Now they doubted me, had their own limits on all that I could be. They clocking me, wanna know what's next. Now they watch.